close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath as long as you can. Other things may come into your mind, but you don't have to pay them any attention. Try to lift your mind above them. This is one of the principles in the Owada Body Moka. The talk that the Buddha gave that we're commemorating today, actually, was on the afternoon of this time of year, this full moon, this time of year. 100,000, excuse me, 1,250 arahants came without having been told to come. They just came on their own spontaneously to see the Buddha, and he gave them this talk. It was a talk which summarized all the principles of the teaching, because he was going to be sending them out to spread the teaching in his name. Some of them had gained awakening simply on listening to a one Dharma talk, so he wanted to make sure that they had a, a full set of teachings. So I spent the afternoon talking about various aspects of the Dharma, and he concluded with the teaching on heightening the mind, in other words, lifting the mind above its mood, lifting the mind above the affairs of the world. And that's what we do, is we get the mind concentrated. We're lifting it above sensual desires, we're lifting it above all kinds of unskillful things, we're trying to keep it there above. So when you look at these things, you're not involved in them. They don't overcome you. You're above them. This is the principle of, as the Buddha said, it's like climbing a tower. And when you climb a tower and you look down at the people below, you can see the patterns of life a lot more clearly, and you get some sense of detachment from them. We well, want to have the same attitude towards your own moods as well. You look at the affairs of the world and how many times they move into your mind and take over. You've got to lift yourself above them, saying, well, that's, that, those are affairs of the world. They're not necessarily my affairs. I don't have to get involved with them. And you can see them, you know, where they come, where they come from, where they're going. And when you can see them more clearly that way, they have less power. So try to lift your mind above these things. Lift your mind above all the distractions that would come around, all the hindrances that would come in and get in the way. Try to make your mind one, lift it above other things. And you find that the experience of being in the world is not quite so oppressive, because you're not totally in the world. Part of you is above the world, both the world outside and the world of your moods inside. If you can lift yourself above these things, they lose a lot of their power, and you're more in control of your own life. <laughs>